I mean, my first response would be, I mean, it's appreciative of uh, this major breakthrough that the uh, Indian uh, Indians have made in, in, in you know, advancing their nuclear uh, program. But I would also want to respond with a few facts of the thing. Uh, Pakistan last year uh, changed and overhauled its nuclear doctrine and introduced this zero meter uh, concept um, and global experts were concerned about it because Pakistan decided to use nuclear weapons uh, right after any threat from any neighboring country. Now, Pakistan has changed its nuclear um, you know, threshold as well. Secondly, Pakistan has also developed battlefield nuclear weapons, uh, largely called tactical nuclear weapons, uh, where you know those nuclear tactical nuclear weapons could be deployed uh, to counter any attacking uh, battalion uh, which will wipe out the entire uh, uh, attacking army. So, I mean, it's appreciative that, you know, uh, such a uh, weaponry system has been uh, uh, tested and launched by the Indians, but uh, testing it to somehow threaten Pakistan, or, you know, somehow testing Pakistan's uh, nuclear threshold, uh, I think would not be right because, again, both countries are prepared well uh, and nobody would should be threatened because, again, Pakistan has already... Um, launched or prepared no, I for any... I don't understand. I'm telling you for us. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you for us, most kindly, that people in Pakistan must understand what we have in our hands, what kind of technology we have, what kind of an economy we are, what kind of a navy we have, and the kind of technology that we have in terms of targeted strikes. Gaurav, uh, General Bakshi can tell you more. You are in denial. You don't want to listen to the reality. I, I don't want to tell you rude things like we can bomb you out of the face of the earth overnight, but we can. And this nuclear threat, we'll also strike you back, won't work. You will be in no position. That's General Bakshi. I'm telling you in simple English. Uh, <sighs> Globally, we have the most lethal missile technology uh, now. You know, Arnab... That is what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, no, Arnab, General it's Bakshi. not. I, I yes. should also remember, remind you that in 2022... Just two years ago, uh, uh, India failed to control its BrahMos missile. That accidentally accidentally landed in Pakistan. And even United Nations raised concern about the handling of uh, this this advanced technology, advanced missile technology. Maybe it was to scare and, you. you know, raised questions and command. Maybe it was to scare and, you. My friend, may I interject? It was an embarrassment. It was a Maybe global was embarrassment. Scary. My friend, may I just interject? It was a global embarrassment for India. Look. Uh, all right, forget about embarrassment. Today we've had a major success. And in the game of strategic deterrence, this marks a significant milestone in South Asia and in this part of the globe. Arnab, with this we have our Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile with MIRVED capabilities. That means it is now capable of even defeating anti-ballistic missile systems that may be fielded by any of our adversaries. You know, Pakistan doesn't have them. China has. And uh, we are able now to penetrate even an anti-ballistic missile shield because each missile can deliver multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. Two to ten is the number that can be, could be carried by the Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile, as you very rightly pointed out, it gives us the cluster munition effect. We can target a number of uh, targets or we can hit one particular target from a number of uh, diverse directions. We can totally, you know, zonk the defenses. And this is a significant game. You know, the United States, the UK, France, they have MIRVED uh, independently targetable vehicles for their submarine launch ballistic missiles. China has uh, MIRV missiles on their ICBMs. Russia has both on its submarine and uh, ICBM launch ballistic missiles. It has the MIRV capability. India has now demonstrated, demonstrated the MIRV capability on its intercontinental ballistic missile. So, I, I do think it goes a long way to enhancing deterrence. Deterrence is a mind game. 
and may I uh, point out to my Pakistani interlocutor that, you know, telling us that you have tactical nukes of, you know, sub kiloton range, as your minister hilariously was telling us, do pao ke, dead pao ke, bomb. Uh, it's good for the laughs, it is good for a comical break, <coughs> a humorous break, but I'm afraid they don't deter anyone. This one does.